protect yourself at all times. Have a good, clean fight. Touch your gloves. Good luck to both of you. Gerald Ridger with the final instructions for these two ladies. We Please may see the first finish of tonight's card. Very fast finishes in her previous fight for Thornton. Lots of kickboxing and Muay Thai experience for Sabina Marzo. Marzo's in the white. Thornton, aggressive right away. Thornton thought about the front kick. Thick legs on her, Jamie Thornton. That's good muscular, definitely. Long, lean body on Sabina Marzo. Marzo, is she taking that slow Muay Thai approach to the start, Michael? Well, she hasn't fought since 2015 in MMA, Sabina Marzo. A little while between drinks for the Colombian. Thornton catch her cold here. Clash of leg kicks. Oh. Nice spinning back fist from Jamie Thornton. Tagged her leather. Cracked. Marzo flying the Colombian colors on her trunks. Good job. Thornton. And the star spangled banner on hers. Chin's high on Thornton. See if Marzo can make her pay. That's oh. a leg kick from nice. Thornton. Is that hard enough, Pat, to drop her? Well, kicked low on that leg. She had her weight on it and booted it out from underneath her, so. Hey. Got to give a shout-out to Charles Chip Jenkins, who's in Washington, D.C., Michael, watching. He's a former Olympic gold medalist for the United States track team. Oh, nice. He's a good friend of mine that I love to have political debates with. All right, g'day, Chip. Hope you're enjoying the show, mate. Outside fight kick there from Thornton. Marzo getting tagged here. Here we go. Tear it out, dude. Tear it out, dude. There it is. Oh, it the final. Frankie from Thornton. Marzo trying to figure out her timing with this craziness in front of her. Right hand down the tube from Thornton. Thornton so aggressive. Marzo calling out Andrea Lee, but I tell you what, from what I've seen of Marzo so far, Lee would have eaten her up. Maybe she gets better as the rounds progress. Still very early going here. The tag there, Thornton did. Oh, good wow. roundhouse kick to the ribs there from Marzo. Thornton needs to step a little bit closer, get inside of the long legs of Marzo. Don't stand on the end of those bull whips anymore. Good job, Jamie. You got those too, Jamie. Thornton got to be careful Good throwing job. those kicks against a Muay Thai Good fighter without setting them up. She will nice. eat some right hands because of it nice. if she doesn't start setting them up. Planting right hand to Marzo. Oh. Oh, right roundhouse from Marzo. Beautiful. Jumping roundhouse to a right hand from Thornton. Starting to get after it. Picking up the pace. Marzo with a very small chin pack. Do you think there's any truth? When people say that if you've got a small chin, a small chin fighter like, let's say, Mirko Krokop, Philippi had a small chin, they get knocked out easier than a fighter with a broader chin? I think it comes down to defense, to be honest with you. And sure, I mean, there are people who are put together. A bigger neck helps. Your head doesn't whip around when you get hit in there as much, causing the counter coup of the brain slamming around inside the cranium, things like that. So, look, I think uh, not getting knocked out comes down to seeing everything coming. We've seen flashes the aggression that has scored Thornton so many quick knockouts in her career. Overhand right, Thornton catches the kicking leg. It's been a kickboxing contest, this one. No ground game. Oh! 
She left the angle wide open on that. Oh, she went stiff. Her husband is sprinting into the cage. Well, we predicted the ladies would give us the first finish of the night, and that is a highlight real knockout if ever I've seen one. A single kick KO that stiffened Jamie Thornton like a plank. Matter of time, like I said, those bull whips don't stand on the end of them. Mazo, not physically imposing, but technically superior. Being very patient in that fight. That was superb. Watch how she gets completely out of position there, turned sideways, gave Mazo the angle. She didn't even have to work for the angle. She just turned sideways to her. Referee jumping in to stop the hammer fist that was coming down on an already unconscious Thornton. Good refereeing there. And that was just extraordinary. We got our first finish. We did indeed. Looks like we'll go to Mike Kendall to make this one all official here. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Gerald Ritter, calls a stop to the fight. Four minutes, 50 seconds into the first round for your winner by knockout, Sabina, Colombian Queen Mazel. The knockout this crowd had been hoping for finally arrives, and so too does Roven Ronkruk on the scene with Sabina Mazo. Sabina Mazo, welcome to the LFA highlight reel, high kick knockout. Take us through the final moments of that fight and how you ended it. Well, um, it's been what I've been practicing, like in Kings, everything. Like I told you before, I was training uh, a lot, high kicks and everything. It's, it's just. Whatever I've been training, I'm gonna for sure practice it here. Did you see an opening? You were very patient, took your time, but did you for see that that high kick would be open and that would lead to the finish? Well, I felt the moment. I was exactly looking for that and it came. It just no rush and I, and I did it, yeah. Now you came into this fight and have already said that you're interested in a matchup with LFA champion Andrea Lee. Give us the details, what do you think? I'm not in a rush. Everything it's step by step. I really take opportunities, whatever it comes. I'll be training and ready, but uh, there's no rush. I mean, everything takes time, and for perfection, I for sure have to keep training. Well, welcome to the LFA. Great performance. Give it up, everyone, for Sabina Mazo. Hey! Sabina Mazo will be seeing more of her. What a knockout.